Today I took three tin cans and I repurposed them, upcycled them, and made them really pretty with simple, easy techniques. So I'm going to show you today how I did them. You probably already have all the stuff in your craft room or in your craft supplies to do it. Super simple, super easy. Let's get at it. I saved three tin cans out of my recycling bin. Uh, the lids are taken off the top, but I've left the bottoms in them because I'm going to turn them into planters. I'm going to give them a one good coat of my homemade chalk paint. This stuff adheres really well to the tin cans. If you just put latex paint on, it won't stick very well. Um, so you can either use chalk paint or you can also use acrylic paint. It sticks quite well to the tin. I'll put a link down below and up above here for my chalk paint recipe. It is fabulous. Okay, for the first tin can, I am going to decoupage on some paper towel. I've just cut them in strips and I'm going to use my Mod Podge mat and just cover the whole tin can in these strips of paper towel. You don't have to be precise about it, just cover the whole tin can. And make sure you use quite a bit of the Mod Podge when you're applying it so it sticks really well to the tin can. Okay, I've got it all covered and you can see it just kind of softens up the ribs in the tin can. For the second tin can, I am going to use my texture paste. I have a recipe that I just did a video on. Again, I'll put a link down below in the description and up above here, and it creates amazing texture on um, any sort of surface, glass or wood or metal, and it's a really easy recipe. I'm just using a credit card to spread it all over the tin can. Almost gives it like a stucco look, and uh, you can just slop it on you don't have to be precise with it if you mix up this recipe and you find that it's maybe not quite thick enough you can always add a little bit more baking soda you don't want it to be runny and not some um, stick on your tin can really well so just see how it works for you and you can always add a little bit more if you need to now you can leave it as is, just as it is right now, but I think I want to put a little bit of a swirl texture in it. So I'm just using the end of a paintbrush and I'm just creating swirls in that texture paste and I think it'll give it a really neat effect. And just take your end of your paintbrush and swirl it right down into the bottom of that texture paint on the tin can. And you can do swirls, you can do lines, you can do... Um, you can use stamps and stamp into the texture paste. Just use your imagination and what you would like. And I think this effect looks really cool. I love it. Okay, for my third tin can, I'm going to use some air dry clay. This stuff is uh, really cool to work with. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna form it into a ball and then roll it out on some parchment paper and I want it about a quarter of an inch thick. If you've never worked with air dry clay, you need to grab some because it's so cool to work with. There's so many things that you can make with it and uh, you'll be obsessed once you start using it. Okay, I want to cut some um, squares. So I'm using a ruler that I had, a metal ruler, and it's actually the exact size that I wanted my little squares to be. So I'm cutting a bunch of stripes down, the same width as the ruler, and then I am going to take those um, strips and cut them into squares. And they don't have to be perfect or the exact same size. I want them to be kind of rustic looking. And I've got all my squares cut out and I want to have them kind of look like a brick texture. So I had this doily. I'm going to take my rolling pin and just very lightly roll that doily into those little squares to give it a real textured look. And that's exactly what I was looking for. I want it to have kind of a mortar brick look. And now I'm just taking my hot glue gun. These haven't dried, they're still wet. 
Um, they will dry once I get them on my tin can and I let them sit overnight. But for now, I'm just going to take my hot glue gun. I'm using the Gorilla Hot Glue, which works really well for this. And just gluing them in a brick light pattern all over the tin can. And when I was gluing those on, I lost some of the texture. So I'm just taking the doily and just kind of dabbing over those just to give it a little bit more of a textured look again. And I'm gonna roll out some of the air dry clay. I just wanna put some along the top of the rim of the jar and along the bottom. Okay, and now we're back to the decoupage tin can that I was doing with the paper towel. So I'm going to put a second layer on and I'm going to scrunch up my paper towel, put it right in that Mod Podge and then just kind of place it on the tin can, just all wrinkly and kind of bubbly and you want a lot of texture in it. I love using paper towel to decoupage with. All the different brands have so many different textures and um, designs on them and they're all different. So uh, just play around with it and just slop it on. Okay, so all three tin cans are all done. They're ready to be painted. So I'm gonna let them sit overnight and I'll be back tomorrow and we'll finish them off. Okay, tomorrow they're all dry and I'm just spraying the inside just with some white spray paint just so they look finished and a little bit nicer. I'm gonna work on the air dry clay uh, pot first and I'm just taking some of my terracotta paint. This is just a latex paint that I had and I'm just kind of almost like a dry brush, a brushing over all of those little tiles. I wanna have this have a real terracotta feel. And now I'm gonna work away at the swirled pattern and I'm just layering a whole bunch of different colors on this just with a dry brush technique until I get the actual color that I like. And I'm just kind of layering all kinds of different colors, no real rhyme or reason, just until I'm happy with the way it looks. And I'm doing all this just with my acrylic paint that I have. And this turquoise blue is the perfect color to finish this off. I love this. And I'm gonna put some twine on the top and the bottom. And now I'm just gonna put some off-white uh, acrylic paint all over that paper towel decoupage to tin can. And it's gonna have a real plaster kind of stucco look. And that looks so cool. I love the texture of this. Now I'm kind of jumping all over here. I hope you can kind of follow through, but I'm just dry brushing a little bit of white acrylic paint all over those little pieces of air dry clay squares, just so I can give it a real kind of aged terracotta look. And using my 120 grit sanding block to finish it off. And I thought these really needed some little feet, so I had some wooden beads. I'm just hot gluing them onto the bottom and all finished. And I missed filming, but I took these outside and I gave them all a spray with polyacrylic sealer. So if you have any tin cans in your recycling bin, grab them and get creating. They make perfect gifts. They make perfect planters. You can put pens and pencils in them. You can put them in your kitchen for utensils. So many, um, so many things that you can do with them. 
let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite and uh, if you've ever tried the texture paste or if you've worked with air dry clay let me know Thanks so much for watching today's video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY, thrifting, repurposing videos, so if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care, and have a great day.